there has been significant interest in our 500 watt hour per kilogram technology since our announcement. I would like to address some questions that have came up regarding how we got to this performance level and what makes our technology unique. According to the report, the prices of lithium ion batteries have dropped by 14%, reaching a record low of $139 per kilowatt hour in 2023. However, the demand for batteries in electric vehicles and stationary energy storage still increased by 53% compared to 2022, reaching 950 gigawatt hours in 2023. This is a significant boost for the electric vehicle market as battery prices continue to increase. While the electrical devices we use today have existed for over 30 years with little change in battery structure, Amprius, a leading company in next-generation lithium-ion batteries, has changed this with a high-performance battery of 500 watt-hour per kilogram based on a silicone anode platform. This is promising news for electric vehicle products, especially Tesla in the future. How will this new battery bring incredible performance to electric vehicles? Let's find out today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. How are silicon anode batteries providing performance for electric vehicles? Silicon has long been promised as an intermediate material for the positive electrode because it can accommodate 10 times the lithium ions per weight compared to lead. In fact, the use of silicon as a positive electrode for lithium batteries was first documented seven years before lead. However, experiments with the element face technical challenges, including the volumetric expansion of the positive electrode when lithium ions are charged, leading to potential material breakage as the positive electrode expands and contracts. Nevertheless, after about 15 years of continuous improvement and overcoming hurdles, the time has come for silicon to become the primary material in the final battery. When researchers first began exploring silicon as the positive electrode for lithium batteries, Tesla also enhanced the lithium retention at the positive electrode by adding a small amount of about 5% silicon. This factor significantly helped Tesla reduce the production cost per cell containing silicon at the positive electrode to $1.20 per kilowatt hour. Surpassing the capabilities of current battery types used in electric vehicles, Amprius's high-performance battery model boasts twice the energy density of the 4680 cell, reaching 500 kilowatt hours per kilogram. This game-changing factor could extend the operating range of the Tesla Model 3 to an estimated 547 miles, according to the battery manufacturer's estimates. Furthermore, it will enable the Cybertruck to achieve a 500-mile range without the need for additional range-extending battery packs. Amprius's new cells can deliver enough energy to power the electric motor, allowing the vehicle to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 1.5 seconds. It seems that the silicon positive electrode is a perfect alternative solution. This type of battery has the ability to store lithium ions much better than lead. With a single silicon atom, it can store four lithium ions, meaning that the silicon positive electrode is 24 times more efficient than the conventional lead positive electrode. It also allows silicon positive electrode batteries to have a capacity of 3400 mAh per gram, which is nearly 10 times higher than the conventional lithium batteries with lead positive electrodes at 355 mAh per gram. Additionally, it has a higher density, equivalent to fewer batteries needed. Therefore, this will result in a higher energy density of up to 10C compared to the conventional 3C in lead-based lithium batteries. A higher C rating implies faster charging since lithium ions move less. The previous challenge with silicon anode batteries was the swelling phenomenon, where the volume expanded three to four times when lithium ions intercalated, which is why Tesla currently only adds a small amount of silicon mixed into the positive electrode to enhance efficiency without causing swelling issues. However, Amprius claims that their technology utilizes 99.5 to 99.9% nanosilicon wires, allowing it to withstand volumetric expansion of 300 to 400% without degradation. This has created questions like how to fix the swelling of silicon anode batteries. 
The battery technology company has implemented a unique nanotechnology, harnessing the advantages of silicon nanofibers directly grown on the current collector of the battery. This process not only helps create nanosilicon wires with precise size and structure, but also utilizes effective ion absorption capabilities. By coating the nano wires with a layer of silicon, this technology transforms the positive electrode into a dense forest cultivated on a flat base through a chemical vapor deposition process. The nano wires, with a size of 100 nanometers and a length of about 10 micrometers, are arranged into a thick array to optimize ion absorption. We consider it a dense forest because it creates an ideal environment for ions and electrons to move conveniently, reducing latency in the electrical conduction process. Notably, the rapid movement of ions and electrons through the silicon nanofibers over shorter distances than traditional materials enhances the battery's charging speed. This allows the battery to reach an 80% charge in just 6 minutes, an impressive and noteworthy achievement compared to traditional vehicles using internal combustion engines during refueling at fuel stations. When considering the significance of this not only for electric vehicles but also for all types of energy storage applications, it truly is a transformative technology. The silicon wires offer several advantages over conventional silicon particles used in current battery technologies. Firstly, the nanofiber structure not only provides a large surface area optimizing the ion absorption process from the negative electrode, but also helps maximize space for electrochemical processes to occur efficiently, ensuring high battery performance and longevity. This represents a breakthrough in battery technology, promising significant advancements in the automotive and energy storage industries. Secondly, they exhibit flexibility, capable of bending or elongating without breaking away from the surface. This feature helps prevent the formation of cracks similar to the issues encountered with silicon particles in the positive electrode, which can reduce the efficiency and safety of the battery. Consequently, they have addressed the drawbacks of this silicon positive electrode technology with the goal of applying it to electric vehicle and aviation technologies in the future. How safe is all silicon anode battery technology? As many have seen in the news, there is an increasing number of reports on incidents involving fires in EV batteries and energy storage systems due to thermal runaway. These incidents have led to the destruction of vehicles and property, injuries, and significant recalls of electric vehicles in the United States. Firstly, some of these battery fires occur spontaneously while the vehicle is parked, turned off, and not being charged. Secondly, these fires are often fueled by chemicals and are nearly impossible to extinguish. Thirdly, these fires can reach temperatures up to 800 degrees Celsius and can easily ignite anything nearby essentially consuming the entire vehicle and surrounding structures. Electric vehicle batteries are often damaged due to internal short circuits, but such short circuit events occur in a small subset of cells, around 1 in 10 million according to a study, and do not happen immediately. However, Amprius's new silicon positive electrode battery technology has been tested with a nail penetration test to military performance specifications to assess the feasibility of a specific product in combat situations. During the test, a stainless steel nail with a diameter of 0.113 inches was driven through a fully charged cell at the specified rate. The result was the battery cell passed the test without any smoke or fire effects. When measured with infrared thermography, it showed that the temperature of the battery cell only increased from 0 to 10 degrees Celsius around the area impacted by the sharp nail. This demonstrates the battery's ability to resist punctures and fires when equipped with electric vehicles. It's not recommended to perform a similar test on lead-based lithium batteries as they would immediately catch fire until there is no remaining charge in the battery cell. Why will silicon anode technology be a game-changer for electrification? Silicon is a highly promising material due to its abundant availability on Earth, being the second most abundant element on the planet with 28.2%. This abundance helps reduce the production cost of batteries and ensures a supply chain unlike lead. Approximately 90% of lead-positive electrodes are processed in China, with some also in the Quebec region of Canada. In the past, silicon has transformed how we store information, and now it's changing how we store energy. It holds the promise of electric vehicles with longer ranges, faster charging, and more affordability compared to vehicles using lead-based positive electrodes and batteries today. Most commercial battery manufacturers view nanosilicon as a solution to issues such as swelling and side reactions. 
However, the production of nano-based batteries can be expensive, and their manufacturing will require specialized positive electrode technologies that is not always compatible with existing large-scale EV cell manufacturing plants. Because they demand specialized equipment and techniques, creating nanowires is much more complex than producing standard wire. Standard wires are drawn to achieve smaller sizes, while nanowires must be developed through electrochemical processes not pulled out like conventional wires. Although silicon's abundant, the manufacturing process is a limiting factor that could make these types of batteries too costly for use outside of the most demanding situations. While Amprius's batteries have performed well in laboratory and field tests, scaling up nanotechnology may be challenging from the laboratory to real-world applications as noted earlier. There is much work to be done in the U.S. to help lead us in the next generation of energy technology. That's why Amprius is currently focusing on suitable applications such as urban air transport. This allows them to showcase battery technology performance while dealing with the current limitations in capacity. Now, with scaling up, they can potentially enter an other market application like electric vehicles. At their Fremont facility, Amprius has constructed a pilot plant with a capacity to produce several hundred kilowatt hours per year. It's located opposite Tesla's 4680 battery production facility on Cato Road. The expected cost is projected to be reasonable and improve over time. This could have a significant impact on devices heavily reliant on large batteries, such as electric vehicles. Batteries currently represent the major cost of an electric vehicle. It is crucial to bring it down to below $100 per kilowatt hour. And there are indications that some are working towards achieving this. Utilizing smaller batteries to achieve a range of 300 to 400 miles is possible with silicon batteries. This would help reduce long-term costs and make vehicles lighter, especially with the extensive charging network already installed by Tesla across the U.S. Moreover, the widespread adoption of silicon-positive electrode technology presents environmental advantages, as recent studies have underscored the environmentally detrimental nature of lead mining and smelting processes. The refining of lead is not only energy intensive, but still heavily dependent on fossil fuels, resulting in emissions that are four to ten times more harmful than the production of silicon powder. China currently holds a dominant position in the global silicon supply, boasting an estimated 6 million tons in 2022. Russia ranks second with 600,000 tons, while the United States contributes approximately 320,000 tons. The potential for increased silicon production still exists, especially if there is no political sensitivity surrounding silicon use. Several startups are actively addressing the challenges associated with this new battery technology, recognizing the significant opportunities for success in this emerging market. In essence, the shift towards silicon-positive electrode technology not only enhances the performance and safety of batteries, but also aligns with environmentally conscious practices by mitigating the environmental impact associated with lead-based battery production. This development signals a positive direction for the industry, encouraging innovation and contributing to sustainable solutions for the growing demand in the electric vehicle and energy storage. Ultimately, at the material level, silicon will be cheaper than lead. The performance of lithium-ion batteries has stabilized in recent years, but a breakthrough in technology promises to reach new heights soon. Could this battery technology make it out of the lab? Amprius has signed a letter of intent to build an expanded facility of 775,000 square feet in Brighton, Colorado. The plan, expected to go operational in 2025, will be constructed in phases, starting with an initial capacity of 500 megawatt hours with the potential to scale up to 5 gigawatt hours within the initial footprint. This capacity expansion signifies a significant increase in Amprius's production capability and will cater to the strong demand for high-performance silicon anode lithium-ion batteries from customers. Amprius's battery technology plays a crucial role in Fremont's dedication to technological innovation, particularly in the electric mobility sector, where our community boasts one of the world's highest densities of EV charging stations. In addition, Amprius has organized an event for customers, suppliers, investors, and partners to introduce its expanded manufacturing facility in Fremont, California, known as the Amprius Lab. The manufacturer is increasing capacity tenfold at the Fremont facility through the operation of an exclusive positive electrode production line, transitioning the company from producing kilowatt hours to megawatt hours. This additional capacity will serve existing companies, including Airbus, Aero Environment, 
base systems, Teledyne FLIR, while also providing a reserve for new customers seeking high-quality batteries in 2024. The facility will produce top-tier high-energy batteries in the industry. This decision underscores the city's commitment to leading the way in next-generation technologies that are shaping the future of sustainable transportation. Now, an increasing number of automakers, including Mercedes, Porsche, Tesla, and Lucid Motors, seem to be on the verge of introducing next-generation electric vehicles powered by batteries. These battery types, though initially costly, could later become a widely adopted breakthrough. The crucial advancement lies in the high silicon content positive electrodes. The development of this material has been delayed due to its continuous expansion and contraction during the cycling process, ultimately leading to battery failure. Battery manufacturers have found ways to prevent swelling from within the hard shell around the positive electrode and the compartments inside it, and they are now scaling up production plants in Kansas, Washington State, South Korea, and other locations. Penetrating the electric vehicle market will require even lower unit costs and take more time. Startups hope to commercialize the silicon material used as a positive electrode in batteries, having raised nearly half a billion dollars in the last quarter of 2022. This funding is intended to help them build factories and integrate their materials into mass market electric vehicles in the coming years. What do you think about this battery technology? How impressive would it be when fitted to an electric vehicle? We appreciate your contributions and hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.